All right, all right. All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning back in to another DOY Creations video. I am Jeanette, AKA Soraya. And before I get started, I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the most high. Yeah, let's just get this just a tad bit more adjusted. All right, guys, I'll wait for you to get your notification, but I see Lashira Crochet is already in here. Uh, good morning, Lashira. She said, hi, Jeanette. Have a blessed Sunday. Good morning, Yasha Allah. Book a toll to you. So good morning, good morning. I think I'm on time today. I got my project in hand, which is in black. That'll work. Uh, hey, Sanita, how are you today? And I got me some water because I just drank a large cup of coffee. I'm talking maybe a 10 ounce cup of coffee. I do have a little left and I will be drinking that really soon. Uh, but yeah, guys, so I got my water. I got my project and I am here. So let me just put my glasses on up so we can stop uh, pretending. I got my little head on. Y'all, I whipped these earrings up last night. I whipped these uh, wire earrings up last night and y'all already in sync this hat before. Cause guess what y'all, it was really cool. It was not, it wasn't cool. It was really cold here in my house and I got my grandchildren and I got hardwood floors. So I did not want them to get sick. Not at grandma house, no ma'am. So I had to turn on my heat guys. But I turned it off. I just want to get the cold out of here. Uh, original Afrocentric Designs by Lisa. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Jamie. Jamie said, hey, Jeanette. Hey, hey, I made it. Thank you so much for making it. Hey, Lauren, how are you this morning, Bev? From Dittimer Nitteries, how are you? Jamie Hook said, good morning, everyone. Good morning, sweet Melissa. Melissa crochets with love. How are you this morning? Mimi D, good morning. And Lisa, that's Be More Bay Boutique. How are you this morning? So yeah, guys, so I had to get up really early this morning. So when I got up early, I had to, you know, get everything prepped for the day, right? That's what we be right back, coffee refill. Yes, I know about that. Yes, Jamie, go get your coffee. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you guys for the thumbs up on your way in. So uh, Wednesday, when we was talking, I was telling you guys that, hi, Linda. Linda, say good morning, Jeanette, sweetie. Hope you are well. I am doing great this morning. You know why? Because preparation is everything, guys. You know, life is all about organization and preparation. So this morning, quick story, story time. This morning, I got up, right? So I got, uh, I got two grandchildren, you all, in case you know, in case you know, in case you don't know. It's afternoon where you're, it's 4 p.m. here, so headed towards tea times, alternate fixing my blanket, parenting, clinging, making beds, hate that task. The sheets are a lot bigger than Mr. Yes. You say didn't mean, okay, but you know what, Lauren, thank you so much for being here, even in the afternoon hours, going towards the evening. So it's morning here, it's 10 a.m. in the States, and so... um. While my grandchildren, my son, all of them knocked out sleep, guess what grandma and mom had to do? I had to get up and, you know, clean up and prep for their breakfast. That's all I have to do. I have to prep for things. If I don't prep for things early in the morning time, then they'll only go for like, you know, sweets and junk and all that stuff. So I was up pretty early this morning, you all, getting everything ready for my grandchildren, I have two. I have a granddaughter and a grandson. And then plus my little son here. And so I'm like, you know what? Let me get everything together so they can have a smooth day. And I can do my lives smoothly without interruptions because they already know the deal. Holy feel. So yes, guys. Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am my grandmother with two children. Yes, <laughs> Lauren. Hi, Wendy. Good morning. How are you? She said, hello, everyone in the chat. So I got on my crochet hook, what I shared with you all. I am making some of those scrunchies. Um, where are my scrunchies? Okay, you know how you just crochet? You basically just crochet over one of those plastic little uh, 
stretchy thing. So that is what I'm doing this morning. And I already shared with you guys, I got my water. I already had my coffee, but the rest of my coffee, when I get off here, I will be drinking the rest of it. Good morning or hello, Mary Bell is hooked. Mary Bell, how are you today? Oh, uh, thank you so much, Lauren. Thank you so much. You know, you 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 as good. You look as good as you feel. Okay, when you feel good, you look younger. When you're worried, you look older, right? All right. So the weather here today, y'all, we are like, I, I can't call this fall weather because it's really like really cold here in Chicago, and so I think we like in the 60s. We are like in the 60s, guys, and. 60s to a warmer state, that's pleasant. 60 here in Chicago, that's cold. So it's a little cold here in Chicago, but guess what? Guess who don't have a problem with that? I don't, not dealing with what I'm dealing with. I don't have no problem with the cooler weather because it keeps me cool, okay? I'm just trying to stay cool, guys. Especially when you're dealing with three children, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see say hello, Mary Van Wendy. Yes, thank you for speaking to everyone. How is the weather? What is currently on you guys' hook? Y'all know the routine and what is in your cup. Y'all know that? Y'all should have been already putting that in. But if y'all was waiting for me to ask, there it is. So I got some scrap yarn. So I finished I finished the project, the collaboration that Marsha Lee and I did with the cross stitch uh, scarf. If you didn't see that, that was on uh, Friday's video. Yeah, that was on Friday's video. So I finished that scarf and yeah, you said you're definitely cool. Oh, th <laughs> I'm so cool, Sunita, that I got cold. <laughs> I'm so cool, I got cold. So I'm like, am I cold? My sister, she's like, if Jeanette says it's cold, then it's cold. I do not get cold easily. I, I'm not even set up that way, okay? It takes a lot to get me cold. So if I say I'm cold, it's cold. So yeah, guys. So okay, Melissa says she'll be right back. Uh, Linda say I know what I know exactly what you mean. Laugh. Yes, girl. This, you know, this nice oven that I got going on all up in here. Oh yeah. Hi, Granny D. Nick Pearl says, girl. She said, hey, dear buddy Jeanette. She said, fifty-seven uh, here in North Carolina at the moment. Predicted high sixty-four. So we got uh, similar weather. Uh, it's 50 and sunny in Everson. Yeah. Mirabelle said, working on a lizard cow and the Flower Valley shawl cow. Nothing in my cup, but about to eat oatmeal for breakfast. That's what I got my children. Thank you for coming back, uh, Jamie. That's what I got my children, some oatmeal, because it was a little cool here in my house. But I went on and took care of that. I turned that heat on. Ain't nobody trying to get that heat bill so soon. But I turned the heat on because what I'm not going to do is have them sick. Not on grandma clock. Not on my clock. Do y'all like my earrings I'm wearing? I just made these earrings last night. Let me show y'all a little bit closer. It's all tangled. It's tangled under my glasses. I knew it was hanging. I just made these earrings last night. Y'all see it? They so light and pretty. You can't even hardly see it with my... Uh, don't worry about it. They gorgeous. Don't worry about it. You say mango and ginger green tea and knitting a fall skirt. Oh, awesome. This thing keep falling. Awesome. Be more, Lisa. That is so awesome, girl. Do that skirt, girl. Winnie said, Jeanette, I didn't finish my scarf yet. I am okay with it. Yes, Winnie, take your time. What I don't want you guys to think, if you guys are going to be doing the cross stitch uh, scarf in with the collaboration, there's no time limit for you whenever you get it done. Uh, but when you do get it done, if you can send me a, a picture of it via email so that I can do a slideshow with it, uh, that'd be so, so great. I got a couple of people already uh, getting ready to email me their version. So I'll wait to get yours. Linda say, I am making the Lizzie blanket. I just finished poncho order number two. Just one more to do. That is awesome. And you know what, Linda? I'm glad the, uh, the person that you're doing the order for is not putting any pressure on you because I can't stand that pressure. I've got windows open. It's nice and cool. Awesome, Mary Bell. I am cold all the time. I opt to stay inside today. Yeah, I am so not that person. I am hot all the time. <laughs> I, I, 
freaks my sister out. I got a sister. She's like, I think, you know, she, she get colds all the time. I don't want to put nothing on her. But she gets whole cold all the time. And when we like in the car together, I am like, got all the windows down, freezing her out. She's like, I, that's why I don't like driving with you. I wonder why she always tell me I'll take my car because I'll be freezing her out in mine. Laura said, not sure of the temp yet here, but it's cool rather than cold. I'm quite happy in a t-shirt. Awesome. Mimi D said, I finished my scarf too. Now I have, now I have a new stitch in my crochet. Arsenal. Yes, that is good. Mimi D, is it possible you can send your scarf picture to me? I would love to show it off. But thank you so much for joining me in the collaboration. Like she would say, I'm making the Lizzie blanket. Okay, what's up with the Lizzie blanket? Everybody is making the Lizzie blanket. I have not heard of that. I'm making the Lizzie blanket from Ophelia Crochet and I have cup in my coffee. I got to check her out. Miss Ophelia, I got what you, girl, Lizzie, Lizzie, yes. Okay, all, all right. Uh, yeah, Granny D is speaking to everybody, 60 and cloudy. So that's the kind of day. Hey, Regina, Regina, say hello, everyone. How are you today, Regina? How is it percolating, girl? How you gonna miss out that sentence? Um, It just jumped. So I'm going to try to bring it back because it jumped all the way to the bottom. 60 and cloudy. Yeah. Yes, Regina. I'm so glad to see everyone here. Everyone is speaking. You say love them. Okay, I got to check it out. Doing the same. Oh, okay. So crochet along. I'm telling you back, laugh aloud. Hey, sweet granny. Yeah, I'm telling you crochet along, you guys. You know what crochet along does? It kind of gets you... Uh, Thank you so much, Lashira. They are light to the touch. I mean, very, very light. So that's what I'm going to be doing is making some more of my jewelry. Uh, I was making a lot of jewelry once upon a time, and it seemed like I haven't, but I definitely got to start back. And they're very light on my head. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> Love your hat, too. Oh, thank you so much, Granny T. This whole thing is the color that makes it pop. Okay, obvious it wants to stay like that. So let's leave well enough alone. Just leave it alone. Thank you so much, Granny D. But let me share this. Um, when you take the time out to do those crochet along, it can't. I love your earrings. I'm working on a blanket. Thank you so much, uh, Mimi D. Thank you guys for the compliment. Let me share this. When you work on like crochet along, it really gets you to learn new stitches. Like patterns that you was not even thinking about making or items that you wasn't even in your radar to make when you join those crochet alongs they kind of help you you know advance your skills especially you know if you never made something like that before uh granny square how are you today you say elephant stampy oh thank you so much for coming over from her wow thank you hi linda yes we are starting progress yes I'm so happy. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. Um, hi, Lillian. How are you today? She said, good morning, all. Lillian, what you working on? Hey, all in the chat. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I am so thankful. That's my daughter. She will have to heater on in on the in the car and I be burning hot. Yeah. See, that's why my sister, she like, uh, no, no. And I'm like, no, I'll drive my car. You know, girl, save your gas. I got you. She like, no, ma'am, you're going to freeze me out. That's what I'm going to do. I ain't going to lie. I will. Don't get in the car with me, guys. If you're not hot blooded, don't get in the car with me because I will freeze you out and you will uh, need a blanket just to be in the car with me. And that's not cool. Yep, had a change my filter and turn on the heat last night. Dread the winter power bills. Oh, well, at least I have heat and a home. Prayers for all of those that are homeless, especially in the fall and winter. You know what, Granny T, here in Chicago, uh, we used to have a whole lot of like uh, shelters um, but now you got to be kind of resourceful just to find a shelter that's kind of safe, right? But a lot of the people here, now Chicago cold can be very brutal. I mean, we talking freezing weather. 
And a lot of people, they are still prefer being in their tents versus being in the shelter. I, I don't, I don't know the whole, you know, everything that goes on, but I'll take a picture of it. Today. Oh, thank you, Mimi D. Yeah, but we got to be thankful, y'all, for everything. Carol, how are you? She said, hey, good morning, all. Carol, how are you today? We got to be, uh, just be grateful, you know, what you got, what you want, what you're planning on getting. Cloudy here in the UK. All right. Yeah, we got to be grateful, you all, because things that get taken away from you when you're not grateful. And then you become grateful. So how about be grateful in advance? How about that? Yeah. Uh, sunny and 57 degrees here in B more. Yes. Baltimore. Yes. Deal why I got your, I got you two thumbs up from my house. Oh, thank you so much. I'll take all the thumbs up I can get. So if you have not yet thumbs up, which way not? <laughs> Don't delay on those thumbs up, y'all, because, you know, when you delay on thumbs up, it's uh, it's not good. Uh, everything is percolating along. Laugh out loud. Yes, Regina. You always look beautiful, Jeanette. Love the Oh, thank you so much. I try. I try to get on this camera and look halfway decent. If I can just get halfway there, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Hi, Patricia. She said, hi, everybody. I hope all is well. Working on a a uh, mystery cow for the Halloween with my kind of thing. Very tedious. Laugh a lot. I will be starting your scarf soon as this is over drinking tea. Oh, awesome, Patricia. Be right back, Granny D. Thank you. Come back, Granny D. <laughs> Don't leave me, Granny D. Okay. So, yeah, everybody is speaking. Good morning, Geraldine. She said, good morning, working on a bag all day. Had. Yeah, I got some things that I need to work on on hers, which will be coming to a theater near you soon, right? Okay, I will make sure I come with lots of layers when and, <laughs> and if we ever meet up. Come with a lot of layers. I know if we do because I found out where you're at and we're like neighbors, sort of, kind of. And uh, you know how it gets cold here, girl, but, you know, I'll, I'll make sure I take care of you. <laughs> I carry a sweater with me, easy to add or take away. Yeah, I don't carry, you know what? In wintertime, I do. I try to bring layers just to be on the safe side. There's Tina from Craft by the Rose. She said, good morning, Jeanette. I gave you a thumbs up. There was no ads at this time. Oh my goodness, I forgot to add the ads. Oh my goodness, I guess I get it later. We need nine more thumbs up. Where is the thumbs up, y'all? Nine to catch the thumbs up for the chat. I would appreciate it so much if you guys uh did that. 61 degrees here and 49 earlier. Oh, girl, you was cold. Oh, yeah, you was cold. Hi, Consuelo. Good morning. How are you today? She said, Good morning, everyone. 57 degrees here. All right, water and coffee for me. This girl, you know, you know, we gotta have that water and coffee, right? I don't play with that water and coffee. It's a nice mixture. Good morning, Raven. She said, blessing Jeanette and all in the chat. How are you today? You speaking to Tina. 64 degrees, 23 miles uh, inland from David on North Carolina, coastal region. What? Wow. I'm telling you. I am like, where I'm at with it is, uh, I'm just... I, I gotta, you know, I was talking to my, I was talking to my sister this morning and I'm gonna share something that we was talking about. Lurking and working. I am working on a corner to corner single crochet ear warmer. That sounds so nice. I was talking with my sister this morning and I was telling her, you know, gratitude goes a long way with not just with each other, but our heavenly father. When we just be thankful for what we have when we be thankful for what we planning on getting or having, we got to show gratitude right now, even before we get it. Because if you show a level of appreciation, you know, it goes a long way. So I am thankful for you all being here. You can be anywhere and you, uh, you are here with me. So I thank you. Laura Lee, good morning. How are you today? I'm so glad to see you. I guess water next. I already had three cups of coffee. <laughs> Woo, girl, yeah, if you had three cups, yeah, the water is on the radar. 
Cold in Atlanta, 57 degrees. You know, once upon a time, I always thought Atlanta didn't get cold. You know, uh, I guess I was I got that uh thing planted in my head, hot Atlanta, hot Atlanta. And I don't know why I always thought Atlanta didn't get cold, but being here on YouTube teach me differently. So uh stay warm. Hmm. Tina say good morning, everyone in the chat. How is uh, everything uh, going? Hopefully all is feeling blessed because y'all woke us up this morning. Praise him. Yes. He is the one to be praised all day, every day. King size mile a minute for a country fair at the end of, oh, you know what? I was, so I went on to, where did I go guys? I went on to, was it Facebook? Oh, I saw someone post on Instagram and I was sharing with you guys. I was trying to find some type of fair, some type of craft show event that I can take part of. And one of them came through and I was like, OK, out of sight, out of mind. I got the information. I said, OK, when I get home, I am going to email the uh, the sponsor and see if I can be a vendor uh, for them today because the, the, the show is from one to five. I was like, perfect. I'll just do my live there so you guys can get live of what is going on. But I got so distracted with my grandchildren, my son. I got so distracted by them. I forgot to give, I forgot to submit the email because you got to submit the email and then you got to pay for it up front. I, I mean, it just was in my thoughts for a second and it just left. I was like, ooh, got to write everything down. Coffee in my cup, oatmeal with cranberries and pecans. That sounds delicious. Do y'all say pecans or pecans? We say it both ways. We say it both ways. Oh, water too. You better have that water, girl. Don't be skipping out on the water. Yeah. For the house, I'll be right back. Okay, thank you, Tina. Thank you so much just for being here. All right. So, uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at with it. So I was so upset. I was like, and when I thought about it, it was like yesterday evening, or even first thing this morning. And I was like, oh, well, I needed to give them at least a 48 hour notice. And I had the 48 hour notice, but I'm telling you, I got so distracted was trying to make sure that my grandchildren was okay. I was trying to make sure that my son was okay. I was trying to make sure that everybody was okay and I forgot to do it. So, sometimes when things doesn't work out that way, maybe it wasn't just meant for it because I believe that anything that's meant for you, it has to be. Uh, uh, this is not a, a vendor event. It is an expedition event, blue ribbon and other color. Oh, awesome. That's That's good too. Hi, Melanie. She said, hello, fabulous Jeanette. I finally mailed my watch cloths to Wings. Now I am making infinity scars to post on Facebook, Pinterest, maybe Etsy, uh, fluffy tote bags. Girl, it's me. Keep a lookout. Yes. All right. That is so nice. Got your hook, Vicky. Uh, Vicky, did you receive anything from me. <laughs> Vicky from Gotcha Hook. How are you? She said, good morning, Janana, and everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you as well. So I got my, I'm trying to see. Let's use the worst yarn. I got some scrap yarn and I'm making, let's untangle this. I got some scrap yarn. That's Y'all, sometimes scrap is just that. It's, it's just what it is. But I like to use uh, this type of yarn first. Um, uh, Raven said, water in my cup and a mosaic crochet baby blanket on my hook. Jeanette, what is your cup? And what is in your... I got water in my cup. And I'm working on some of those scrunchies that I was going to work last week. Uh, so I'm going to make some today. You know what? I'm not sure. I'm out of time. Oh, okay. Because I mailed you something. I, I sent you something. Hopefully it stay at the post office until you get back home. I did send you some happy mail. Uh, good morning, Kimberly. She said, hey, fam. How are you today? So glad to see you. Uh, what you say, Granny Square? The scrap yarn needs some, t girl, needs some TLC on the, on the quickness. 
But I love this yarn because you know what I can do? I make so many things using up this yarn. When it's this amount of scrap yarn, I don't mind. But when some people, do y'all say like every piece? I don't save every piece, y'all. So when it's just, it, when it's too definition of a scrap, I, no, I can't. Um, Linda, Danielle, how are you? Danielle say good morning, sis, and everyone who is watching. Danielle, how are you, sis? I'm so glad to see you. Linda say, I have to go and sort our evening meal. Oh, thank you so much. Virtual hugs to you, Linda. Blessings to you. Thank you so much. And your link will constantly be dropped if you want to drop it again before you leave out to make sure everybody is part of Linda Simpson family. You're welcome. But I do have Nightbox dropping everyone's link. Uh, but Danielle, so good to see you. Wow. Okay, I'll check it out. Thank you in advance. Yes, Vicky. I, I hope you like it. <laughs> I hope so. Um, good morning, Sharon. Let's see what you got. You said, let's put you on big screen, girl. Let's put you on big screen. You said, good morning, Jeanette and everyone. Woke up early this morning. Praise our heavenly savior for all the blessings he has given me. Made some waffles and sausage for breakfast. Now is the OI time. Girl, you better praise him. You better praise him. He's worthy. He's worthy. I am so glad to have you guys here. DOI, my email address is in my description. Send me an email so I can put a push pin in my cork uh, board. Okay. Where you are. Okay. I sure will. I sure would do that. You say, I'm okay. Thank you for asking. How are you been? I've been fine. I've been doing really good. You know, you take, you take things one day at a time, one hour at a time. So anyway, uh, I got this and all I do is just slip stitch the yarn on chain one. And then I single crochet all around the, I single crochet all around the uh, hair pin or hair thing. So I can, and then I just, which is so easy. I can make these things like, oh my goodness, so fast. I love making them. And once upon a time, I had made so many of these scrunchies, crochet scrunchies that I started giving them away. I was like, I got too many of them. Uh, yeah, did I make some stuff put it in the court for it? Yes, yeah, yeah. So that's where I'm at. I'm just and I got a large crochet hook. I think I'm working with a number, uh, L, a, a letter L, and a number 11. So this project can, you know, be just nice and uh. <laughs> She said, my name is Lauren and I have a confession. I'm now sewing in the ends of a blanket. I made eight months ago. Oh, that is, oh, listen, that is okay. Oh, Granny Square, thank you so much for the super sticker. And you know that you're super, you're super, you're super, super, super. Thank you so much for the super sticker. You guys are just super for being here. Hey, Mama J. Way, what's up? How are you? She said, hey there, Jeanette and fam in the chat. I pray all is well with you all and your family. All is well. How are you? So glad to see you. Let me see. This crochet hook just don't want to stay in my hand. Hey, good morning, beautiful Ursula from OM Granny Square. She said, hello, Jeanette. So good to see you. I'm lurking today, writing up my first pattern. And oh boy, taking every ounce of concentration. You know one thing about writing up patterns? I'm telling you, it does. It will take up a lot of your concentration because one thing you don't want to do is send it off wrong, you know? And I don't like when people don't know what I'm saying. Like, what were you saying? So kudos for you. Kelly, you coming in with a super sticker. Oh, man. Thank you so much, Kelly. And you know that you're super, you're super, you're super, super, super. Thank you so much for the super sticker. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Your present is a present. Don't y'all know that? Your present is a present. Everybody is speaking to each other. If you just tune in, if you're just tuning in to the station, <laughs> I was sharing with you guys, I made these earrings 
They're light, delicate on my earlobes. You don't have to worry about anything heavy. And y'all already seen this hat. This is my bucket hat. But you know what, y'all? It was cold this morning, so I basically threw it on this morning. But I turned my heat on for my grandchildren because they don't need to be cold. I don't want them to go home sick. Love you. Uh, I am so glad to see you because you're so... Oh, thank you so much, Kelly. And you're super as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it so much. Papa, Avery, and I all had bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich at 6.35 this morning. So you had breakfast pretty early. And that's good. That's good. I actually had some coffee. And did I eat anything? Y'all don't even remember if I ate anything. Did I eat a waffle? I don't remember. I was so busy cleaning up. No, I didn't. I just drank some coffee. I just uh, I just drank some coffee. That's all I had. I just had coffee. Kelly said, hey there, everyone. Yeah, so I had some coffee. I don't think that's all I had, y'all. Nothing else. Hmm. Huh. If y'all hear any noise, it's a possibility that could be my stomach growling because I didn't have breakfast. I don't. <laughs> Do I have to write everything down? Do I even have to write if I had breakfast down? Let me try to see. I did not eat breakfast. I just drank coffee. Yeah. So any, you know, any rumbling you guys may hear, any strange noise you might encounter. Um, it's just my stomach. That's all. Uh, but anyway, back to... <laughs> <laughs> back to this. So all I do is take one of those little uh, plastic uh, little hair things and crochet, single crochet all around it. I'm just going to keep crocheting around it. And then I just uh, do three crochets into each stitch. Is your stomach eating your uh, back? <laughs> Girl, it will be in a second. <laughs> <laughs> it will be in a moment. Oh, because I forgot. I, I literally forgot to eat. I forgot. It's okay. I got I got enough food in my body to uh, hold over for a couple of hours. It's really okay. It's really. So after I single crochet all the way around the, um, the whatchamacallit, I put three double crochets into one stitch and repeat that all the way around. Nobody asked me, but I feel like I'll tell y'all anyway. Y'all didn't ask me, but I'm telling you anyway. I'm just telling you. You might you may want it to know that. You might not want it to know that. I don't know, but I had to share with you all. I just had to do what I had to do. I had to share it. I had to. Girl, did nobody ask you to share that? I need to make a bunch more scrunchies. I need a few more colors. Yeah, I used to have these Granny D in like every color. Every color you can think of, I had them. But I needed black. I had this flower, this really old flower recently in my head. And I was like, you know what? It's in black. And I needed to add this one there. Okay, y'all keep it down. Uh, let's see. Hi, my beautiful friend, Mimi from the Cozy Fox. He say, good morning, beautiful friend. Mimi, how are you today, Elastic Girl? Okay, Lisa, help me out. Help a sister out, girl, Elastic. We be wanting to know, Lord. We be wanting to know. I'm glad you want to know because I don't know if you wanted to know or not. And all I do in each stitch is just do three crochets. And what that does is it gives you that a uh, wavy type of ordeal. So, and that's all I do. It's nothing else that I do. Nothing. I don't do anything extra. And Mimi, uh, I'm so glad to see you. Uh, Sheila, how are you today? Sheila said, hello to you. DOI Creation gave you a thumbs up. Uh, how is everything? Everyone's doing in the chat. Everyone is doing great. Living the dream. Oh, girl, that's my daughter saying. My daughter says that all the time. I'm just living the dreams. I need to make an orange and black for Halloween time. And D, like, don't they work up like in a matter of minutes? Um, it's just, it just, it's just really easy to make. 
just popped in really quick to show some love to my sister. Have a blessed day, everyone. You too, and uh, uh, Vicky, let me know when you receive it. Uh, Pamela, and have a great day as well. Pamela from Crochet and Nick Corner. How are you today? She said, good morning, afternoon, lovely people. How are you? Look at my water. Y'all, they be filling these bottles up to the top, doing something. Got me spilling water for no reason. How are you today? And all of my members, members, okay, dessert squad. You guys, did y'all see the email I sent for members uh, to the giveaway? I don't think you guys saw that, vi that video. So make sure members y'all uh, seeing those, um, you know, just check it out. You know, don't be, don't be missing out. Uh, you say I make brunch. You say I make a bunch of the scrunchie for my granddaughter. Yeah, every time they come over, uh, I miss a few more. Yeah, you know, they, they be taking them. They be taking them. Yes, Mimi. They be taking them. They do. They do. So, yes, members. Uh, y'all look out for those, uh, you know, things I got going on for you all. I got stuff going on for my members. And uh, members, don't forget, check it out. Uh, I have finally figured out what I want to, to be when I grew up. Retired. <laughs> you know what? Uh, you know what, Grady Square? You know what happened? Uh, I saw this, this uh, which is one of those TikTok type of things. And the little girl, she had to be about three or four years old. And they told her, they asked her, what do you want to be? What, what's your, okay, I'm going to mess it up. I, I ain't going to say it because I'm messing it up. But she said she didn't want to work when she got older. That's the whole gist of it. Good morning, Monda. Hey, girl, how you doing? So good to see you. Yeah, so members, my dessert squads, y'all better check out these emails. I mean, it's all stuff I'm sending y'all. Uh, yeah, don't forget. Uh, yeah, everybody's speaking. You say, okay, I will. All right, cool. I feel better now. I feel better. It's chilly outside here in Ohio, waiting for my breakfast to get here. Too lazy to cook this morning, afternoon. Listen, I you know what? I was telling my sister that I know it's times, you know, guys, you know, we be trying to, you know, save our coins, y'all. We trying to make these dollars stretch as much as possible. We, we try to make like it's got some type of elasticity in it, right? But sometimes you really have to treat yourself. And I was telling my sister, I say, I am like overdue for like a spa. I need a spa day like nobody's business. Like I need someone to really just, you know, play some, you know, some nice music down low, have some candles burning and just give me a spa. I want a facial. I want the full body. I want my nails done, feet did. I just want the whole package. Just like I want the whole package from you guys. And that is like, comment, and subscribe. Yep, that's it. Uh, is the information for members going to our email? No, it's it's a video. Okay, it came to the community on my community page that only you guys can see. And it's a video that I was doing a giveaway for members only. And I figure I should say this just in case you guys mix the member only information with the regular no, it'll say members only. Okay, members only. All right. Y'all remember those jackets, members only? Y'all remember those jackets? <laughs> members only jackets. Do anybody still uh, have one? <laughs> uh, Alisa say, here is my video for what's in my to-go bag. Check her out. Yes, you said I am still here listening while feeding girls lunch and cleaning up my kitchen. Listen, I, it's okay to multitask. I multitask like nobody business. I have to multitask because I be having more than one thing to do, y'all. Dang. Uh, not staying long, but saying hello and hope everyone knows I am not leaving my channel. Just have some online housekeeping to do. Yeah, girl, I'm telling you, these. Yes. Okay. Got it. When you when you get straight, uh, let us know. It's just so. It's just too much. 
Uh, that's funny that a three-year-old would say that. You know what she's hearing in the house. Yeah, she was like, she ain't got time to be thinking about uh, no kind of jobs. Can I be a child? <laughs> time to lurk, everyone. Mimi D, be lurking and working. Just keep me running, girl. Go and do your business. Just keep me on. You ain't got to cut me off. <laughs> I need to start getting my nails done again. Yeah, I just need the whole D. I, you know, I just feel like once I get the whole package of just like giving me a massage and giving me a, um, you know, just the whole package, y'all. I just need everything. I need it. I need it. I deserve it. You ever, you ever feel like I deserve this? I deserve this. Yes, I do. I deserve it. I work hard, y'all. I, I, work, I work hard. I do. I deserve it. So yeah, exactly, Granny T. Yeah, you got to just, you got to take care of yourself. If you don't take care of you, all right, who will? Who's going to take care of you better than you? Should nobody take care of you better than yourself? You should take care of yourself better. Y'all like my earrings? I made these last night, y'all. They like, let me know if you want some. I'll put them up on my website. Uh, good morning, Jeanette. I am good. Thank you for asking. How are you? I am doing well. Thank you for asking. I just want someone else to pay my bills for me. I just don't feel like writing the checks. Lord, girl, listen. Oh, that's a conversation. Every month in my house. I mean, you can't send these people these bills quick enough before the next one is already in the mail. You like, did y'all clear that check before y'all send me this next statement? Now, that's what I really need. Can they give us a month off? Just give us a month off. You know how many lives would be changed if you didn't have to pay rent? No bills for just one month. You know how many lives that can change? It would change my life. Uh, Lydia, how are you? You say, good morning, everyone. It's cold in Nebraska. Today's uh, good. Stay in today and work on the KB Afghan knitting. Oh, awesome. Yes, yes. I got, you know, videos. It's just for members only. It's going to say members only. Uh, so make sure you're looking out for those members only videos because I got a giveaway going on for just my members. And I was like, do they see this one? So I decided that I was going to say today, can y'all check out the members only video? Uh, you can go to my community and you will see one that only you can see if you're a member. If you're not a member, y'all ain't going to be able to see it. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, yeah, Pamela, I'm being lazy today, Lord. It's okay. It's okay. Sometimes you got to be lazy. A downy is a royal pain. It is. Like, you know, I was talking to someone and they was like, they was they used to be excited when they was younger, when they got their own apartment. And, and she said, when she got her first bill, she said, oh, I got my first light bill. Now she like, I'm so sick of these light bills, gas bill, water bill, all kind of bills, just bills, girl. Who is billed anyway? Because somebody tell Bill, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Go find you some business. Go find some business. I ain't got time for you, Bills. You ain't got to come visit me every month. You don't know me like that, girl. Uh, OMG, yes, those jackets were everything. Girl, those members only. You was like, you know, you you were somebody if you had a members only jacket. Like, you were stylish. You know, were you stylish with the members only? Yes. You was all proud of it. You was like, yes, members only. Yeah, you got to be stylish today. Yes, Jeanette, I'm loving the idea of spa day. My body, mind is calling for spa day. You know what? My daughter, my beautiful, beautiful, wonderful daughter, she had treated not only me to a spa day, she treated my mom to one. So she was like, I'm taking my mom and my grandmother out for a spa day. And when I tell you we left out of there, different people, we want to say the way we went into that spa was totally different than the way we left out. I never felt so relaxed. I was just like the candles was burning. It was a nice aroma, a nice, you know, it, it wasn't dark, but it was just the nice, you know, lighting. It was so nice. It was just, you ever feel like you didn't tip people enough. You're like, with this type of realization, I should have tipped you more. Uh, you say members only jackets, <laughs> right. uh, pants, stirrup pants, leg warmers, and one glove. Girl, you just you just got it, don't you? Girl, you just thought you was in style. Yes, it's Jeanette. Laugh a lot. You are the queen of multi. Yeah, I have to. Girl, if you don't multitask, let me tell you, when you talk about multitasking, I don't just multitask with, you know, work around my house or my job, but you know, thing. I multitask here on the YT. How? 
I'll be having like three and four lives running at the same time. So I'll be like, hey, girl, how you doing over here? Oh, hey there. How you doing over here? Oh, hey, everybody. I'll be multitasking here as well because, you know, you got to show everybody love as much as you can, y'all. Yes, my channel is still here. Just many videos hidden and contact info hidden for now. Okay, Mimi Day. It's just so much, Mimi Day. I'm sorry you got to experience that. Uh, the Cozy Fox said, love you all. I'm, I'm just, ugh, I'm disgusted. And 130 ish days on my cruise, I am hitting the spot. Yes, enjoy it. I was telling my sister, and uh, even when I went traveling with my husband, but when you go into like, I like to go to like the um, the Marriott. The Marriott is one of my favorite type of hotel to visit when I'm traveling or the Hilton. I like kind of upscales type of um, hotels because when you go downscales, honey, they don't be treating you right. Been there, done that. But I didn't take advantage of all the amenities, the amenities that was with the hotel. I didn't get, I didn't take advantage of the spas. I didn't take advantage of the gym. I did take advantage of the pool, but it's when you leave, you be thinking like, I really should have treated myself to a spa and I really should have treated myself to more than what I did. So future traveling, I'm going to make sure that I include spa money. So, you know, just go out and relax yourself. I can't be, I can't be out in these streets stressed out. Yeah. you be stressed out. Uh, when I come into some more moolah, I am totally going to hire someone to pay my bills for me. Lord, yes. Who is he? He's fired. Tell Bill he's fired. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Cute. Isn't he? They just light and just, oh my goodness. So, uh, you know, last night, okay, quick story. My granddaughter uh, she told me one time, she was like, Grandma, can you teach me how to crochet? And I was like, absolutely. Uh, because my daughter, she's really not about that life. No, she's not. So last night, uh, late last night, I got up and I was like, you know what? I want to make me some quick earrings to wear for the show today. And so my granddaughter came into my craft room and she was like, what are you doing? I said, I'm making earrings. She said, I said, would you like to? And guys, she made some beautiful bracelets earrings, rings. And I was like, you know what? You probably got a future in this because she learned so fast. I only showed her the technique one time and she was just being so creative and she made so many beautiful things. So her and I are now jewelry maker. Is that what we're doing? Yes, that's what we're doing. Uh, you say, I want 2019 back. Still earning and having nails done regularly, <laughs> going to salon regularly. Really missing those extras. Ugh, they, I know. And those extras are so, you know, I feel like it's necessary. It's it's really necessary to treat yourself. Now, a lot of people say I treat myself to like a nice dinner. And that's cool. But you know what? There's nothing like pampering yourself. When you pamper yourself, I feel like I care. Right now, I feel like I need, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mimi, I had sent a message. Okay, you talking to Mimi. So, yeah. Let me speak it to Ursula. Yeah, give us December off or January off. Start the year off with... Just give us, a, you know, it's just, we just need a, a minute. Dang, with everything that's going on, can we take a breather? I mean, anybody got time for this every month? Uh, anyway, level out, you can set up bill pay in your bank to auto pay bills. Girl, I can't be doing that. Girl, I don't always have that money when they want it. I don't have it when they want it. Girl, that's going to cost me more money. <laughs> Good morning, Evelyn. Evelyn say hi, Jeanette, everyone. Evelyn, how are you today? So glad to see you. Thank you all for being here. Yeah, I can. you can do auto pay. You better make sure that money is there. <laughs> Oh, the way my phone's set up. Uh-uh, girl, you better wait. I got to think about this. <laughs> yes, you have to show love and many lives at once. I agree. Yeah, sometimes, you know, I get to multitask, you know, um, but I try to, you know, I just try as much as I can. I really enjoyed you ladies last night. If you guys are not part of Melissa Crochet's uh, with love, uh, her butterfly dreams, uh, with Jeannie and Steals to Show with Veronica. Those three ladies, they be educating us up on different type of 
material as far as yarns, hooks, stitch marks, just a lot of stuff. So I really enjoyed you all last night and it was very educational as well. So I was glad to be there. I was glad to be there. Uh, we all need educating on something. We always stay at the Marriott. Yes, I love the Marriott because the Marriott uh, tends to, okay, I went to a hotel and they told, they, you know, their brochure and their, well, you know how you can do a virtual view of the hotel before you go there. And uh, we did a virtual uh, review of this hotel and it looked beautiful. And they said, you know, uh, they had continental breakfast and they had like a nice spread online. We got to that hot, we got to that, uh, my husband and I went to Miami, Florida. We got to that hotel and it was a hot mess. I mean, it was, it put the hot on, it put the H on hot. And I was like, this is misleading. It was like a, uh, probably when they first opened up the hotel, maybe they had all that. They didn't even have grass. We went in the summertime and they didn't even have like someone like do their grass. It was just horrible. And I told myself, I say, from this day forward, I would never stay at an unknown um, uh, hotel. Now, the reviews, because I try to check reviews and the reviews was kind of partial. So I was like, okay, I'll lean towards, you know, the people that saying good things, but oh, y'all. You be trying to, you know, go online and see what people got to say. Sometimes they be having their own people saying the good stuff. Because that hotel was a hot mess. We got out of there. Evelyn, uh, Yvette, hey, Yvette. Yvette, say hey, Jeanette, everyone in the chat. Love to all. Just getting in some, trying to catch up on the conversation. Thank you so much, Yvette. How are you? And you guys are welcome to join any of the links that my uh night boxes dropping if you're not a part of their family please become raven said i just wanted to know why they went i'm sorry i just want to know why they want us to pay bills and with fica cause she's taking money out of my husband check and they always want us to fire at will when you in a service well who will and why fire i know it's just you know it, we pay for things that we don't even understand we're paying for. I mean, it's not even a negotiation. I mean, when they take taxes out of our money, do we have a say-so? I don't think so. We don't have no say-so. We don't have no type of nothing. Uh, that's amazing to how you taught your granddaughter. That would be so much. It was so much fun for her. And it was fun for me as well because you know what? Teach them while they're young because their minds can absorb it a little bit better. Yeah, they can absorb it, y'all. Yeah, they can absorb it. And they have a little bit more patience than, you know, us old folks. You know, I don't know. I don't trust setting up bills paid at all the time. I want a dedicated person to do it for me, Lord. <laughs> Girl. Oh, thank you so much, Melissa, for the super sticker. And you know that you're super, you're super, you're super, super, super. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, was Elizabeth able to help you with your project you asked for help with? Uh, mm, help me with the project? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I asked her. Did, did I ask her, Tina? I don't know. You said, oh, thanks so much. So happy to know you enjoy our show last night. Thank you for, absolutely. It was very educational. And that's what it is because it's kind of like getting three different people perspective on different things. Because like I was sharing with uh, Melissa with Crochet with Love and Veronica and Jenny last night, I used to be only purchased. I was the kind of purchaser. I only purchased when it dealt with cotton yarn was peaches and cream. I never venture out to any other type of yarn. Walmart uh, was holding peaches and cream as part of their stock. And I didn't even know that there were so many different types of uh, cotton yarn. So I'm glad to venture out to yarn bee and many other different cottons, ice cotton. Uh, it just let me know that, you know what? There's more cotton. All cotton ain't created equal. No, they're not. They're not. Uh, I love me some Marriott especially that consider room, it is the best kept secret. Yes. I try to take, I tell you one thing about the Marriott, uh, when I go there, 
they know the def they know the definition of a continental breakfast. I mean, this place because we only stayed there that one night. Because in the morning time, we was like, we out, we are up, y'all. They had some little frozen small muffins. They had some. They had a pool. The water ain't been in there for years. I, I was like, this is misrepresentation. Uh, this is not how you guys uh, online virtual thing look. They weren't trying to hear that. They just wanted their money. It's all about money, y'all. And once they get your money, they through with you. Marriott doesn't bother you. Clean rooms and take care of you, whatever you need. And same service, no matter which one you're at. We love the restaurant and stores downtown too. Yeah, it's just, I just, I mean, you got to be a traveler to really understand and appreciate appreciate the more quality hotels you gotta you gotta be on both sides of the fence when i first traveled i said it doesn't matter what hotel i'm in because i'm not there for the hotel i'm here to you know sightseeing go out to eat you know different things but you gotta come back to that place and lay down and if you don't feel safe laying down what's your point so that's when i start really looking at things a little bit differently hi priscilla from distinctive crochet she said, hey, Jeanette, hey, everyone. Priscilla, how are you? Oh, there's my sis, Christine. She said, good morning, sis, and everyone. Have a safe weekend. God bless. How are you today, sis? So glad to see you. Yeah, so it took me to basically be on both sides of the fence before I, you know, you know, before I realized that, you know, quality does count. <laughs> uh, my Grammy taught me crafts and sewing the same way. And the reason I end up becoming a seamstress with handmade biz of my own long, lifelong memories right here, right there. Uh, that's so special, my friend. Yeah. And I'm glad she finds it special because, um, I, you know, you know, all we can do is try to create memories for people. And I don't want bad memories. I want to create good memories. I want her to look back and one day say, my grandmother taught me this, or my grandmother said this, and my, you know, I want her, her mom, you know, quote everything her mom says, but I want her to, you know, know about me, girl, you gotta know about me. <laughs> I just want her to just, you know, some of the things just, uh, you know, I got so many great stories with my grandmother. I got some great stories with my grandmother. So many great stories with her. So, you know, and I, you know, a lot of people lose their grandparents like in an early age. I was not only blessed to have my great my grandmother, I was actually with my great grandmothers as well. So it was tr truly a blessing. Teach them while they're young, when they still want to learn. So true. Sometimes uh, it skips a generation. Your daughter might not be interested, but granddaughter is. Yay. Yes, I'm so glad. But you know what? At least my daughter know. Because you might not be interested now, but somewhere down the line, because I hear people talk about it all the time, how they learned something at a young age and waited decades later to pick that craft back up. So I'm hoping that that happens to her. But if not, it's, if it's not her thing, I don't, girl, it ain't your thing. It ain't your thing. It's okay. It is okay. Everybody is speaking to everyone. Thank you so much for speaking to one another. It's so cool. I learned so much from everyone in our community and being a part of our group. I am learning so much every day as well. And you know what? The thing about it, Melissa, if, if I come to you and you're supposed to be teaching me something, that's what my ears are like wide open to. Like, what, what can I learn? What can I, what, what can I take away from this teaching? What can I take away? So when I was listening to you ladies and everybody gave their own perspective Everybody did their own research. Everybody made their own item. That's what I was like. Hmm. Hmm. So, yeah, we're trying to teach each other. Y'all, this is a community. Can a community teach each other? And we can't teach one another. And this is an awesome community. So, yeah, you better teach somebody. Everybody just teach. Everybody teach somebody something. <laughs> You got to be able to teach somebody. So sorry I missed y'all, Melissa. My daughter from Florida was here. That is great. Your daughter was there. She left to go back home this morning early. She and her fam with our only grand, with our only grand will be here for Thanksgiving. Listen, I there's, you know, when you're dealing with your family 
and you got family over or you going to them or they coming to you, however y'all get together, that's the most precious things. That is the most precious things, precious moments that I don't want to miss out on. I don't. Jeannie is so dedicated. Butterfly dreams with Jeannie. She's so dedicated that she traveled to visit her grandson. I, I think he was uh, turning one for his birthday and she still was there. She was like, you know what? I know I'm traveling, but I am going to be there for my group. And that shows so much commitment and so much dedication. So that is just awesome. But Granny D, uh, no apologies needed. <laughs> no apologies. Uh, the after sale service is what makes you go back to a hotel. So they are losing out if they don't live up to their reputation. Love, Mary. If they don't, you know, but the thing about it is, um, you know, one thing about it is when I'm going to uh, just my personal feeling, if I go to the Marriott and I have some type of discrepancy with anything, my room, any type of discrepancy, my experience is you only get one chance to mess it up with me. You get one chance because bad news travels so much faster than good news. I don't care if you got a hundred good news, that one bad news will take off, right? So I'm glad they like to live up to their representat uh, representation. They, uh, you know, because, and that's how we should live, especially we want to live up to our, our rep because if you not, anything bad happened, that goes further than the good. You'd be like, wow. So I, you pay enough plus anyway. Plus there's no riff raff or loud parties and pool clothes at night. Top notch. Yes, and we take advantage of all that. Take advantage. What is everyone making today? Crochet or adding knitting machine? I am, girl, you know, Lydia, thank you for bringing that back to me. I left. I left out. I am still working on my, my scrunchie. Y'all not gonna be able to see it because it's in black. You're not gonna be able to see it, but y'all don't need to see that. Y'all, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Uh, thank you guys for speaking to my sister. That's my beautiful sister, Christine. This is my sister right here, guys. I say it every time, don't I? I say it every time. Y'all like, okay, we know that's your sister. Got it. <laughs> Doing great, sis. Talk with you soon. Okay, sis. Thank you. She remember her entire life. Yeah, she would remember. You don't forget. Jeanette asked Cozy Fox if Elizabeth had helped her. Oh, okay. You talked to the Cozy Fox. I thought she was talking to me. Thank you for clarifying that because I was like, Elizabeth, mm. I don't remember. But then again, I didn't even remember if I had breakfast this morning. Y'all don't base y'all stuff on my memory. No. My memory, y'all. is Yeah. Ginkgo, where are you? <laughs> Ginkgo Biloba, where are you? Uh, Hampton Inn is our uh, bougie hotel around here. It's bougie. Ooh. It's so fancy. Yes, we have. what well, Here we do have the... Uh, the Marriott downtown in uh, Hilton. But like when I go to Vegas, uh, well, we tr we stay at the Pal uh, P the Palooza. P oh, I lost the name, but it started with a P. We, boy, we be staying. We be paying money for these hotels, but it, like Palooza. P oh, I forget the name, but y'all know. If you ever been to Vegas, you know what I'm talking about. On the Strip. And you know what they do for us? Because it is expensive, but I'm telling you, the service... Service is just like, service is priceless. I cannot stand going into a store and they don't greet me. I don't like leaving out of the store and they don't thank me. That really, you know, that's a pet peeve of mine. I, I don't have to greet you. I'm coming to, to keep your job going. And that's a pet peeve of mine that you don't greet me, nor do you thank me when I leave out. I'd be like, so rude. Um... And my family is skip generation and my grand and I am creative. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. That is just like a pet peeve. So uh the uh hotel I was saying, I forget the name of it, y'all. I don't know. I forget. They are just the best. You said, Granny D, I'm so sorry for your loss, sweetie. So happy you were able to spend time with your daughter. Yeah, you're going to raffle, enjoy your thing. Granny D, someone passed on? I, I didn't get that. I picked it all back up in my early 30s. Yeah, so it can go and come back. 
Granny T, I'm sorry, I, I missed something. Go to your channel and catch up. Yes, please do. Um, Granny T, you're right, Janet. Yes, Consuelo. Granny T, did I miss something? Because you're saying thanks, Melissa. I, I missed something, Granny T. You have my condolences. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Yes, Jenny is so awesome. We ain't just a community. We all fam we are family over here, and let's treat each other like a family. Don't be trying to. Yes, sis, Jenny is dedicated, and she is so dedicated. I was like, she did, she did her part and had everything ready to go. Are you guys about to head out? What are y'all doing? Uh, me too. I had the opportunity to have gr six grand grandmothers. Five of them at one time in my life, two step-grandmothers, two great-grandmothers, and my two original grandmothers. Uh, one of them taught me to crochet. Wow, how awesome is that? I didn't learn to crochet until I was, you know, older. <laughs> until I was older, girl. Yes, people look for the negative news before they will look at the good news. Yeah, it's just the, it's just the way it is. But I'll be like, I just really don't like it. Uh, it's just so important. I really don't. Uh, I went to a hotel with 12 friends. Their restaurant wouldn't let us put two tables together. The restaurant was empty. The next year we stayed at the Marriott. I'm sorry. I mean, sorry, not sorry. But if you're not trying to accommodate me, um, I feel like this. I feel like you should be trying to accommodate me at all costs because that's going to that's gonna determine if I will come back to your establishment or not. It sure will. And that one in Miami, they'll never, ever, ever have to worry about me going to the establishment. I'm like, are you crazy? Is you crazy? I ain't coming back to your establishment. And I'm gonna write a review. Now, I don't I don't go and write reviews. Some people do write reviews on different things, but I'm not. Listen, I just know I'm not going back. That's how I am. I'm not going back. That's it, you know. And I, I hate when I have to tell people. Hello. I don't have a problem speaking. I like to speak to anybody and everybody, but they don't reciprocate the same thing. And I say, thank you. And they just close the door. Like I went to McDonald's and I was like, we got me some breakfast, whatever. And I'm like, good morning. And they like 643. I'm like, okay. And I told the cashier, I say, thank you. And the window closed. I should have returned that food, but honey, I was too hungry for all that. <laughs> If I don't get good attention or service, I don't ever go back, even if I like the products. I know you just, I don't. Yeah, I missed something too. I did. I don't know what I missed, but I missed something. Hugs for you, honey. Yeah. I know I did it. Let me just skip on down. Oops, that's the cozy pop. You said, oh, okay. Because girl, I didn't know. I thought I missed something. Do I get a new member, Melissa? Thank you for joining the dessert squad. Okay, thank you all, my dessert squads. You guys are so awesome. Welcome, welcome, Melissa, to the dessert squads. Girl, you would not be disappointed. I got that from Ursula, but you know, you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much, Melissa. And you know that you're super, you're super, you're super, super, super. I ain't got no bill. I ain't got no tangerine. Y'all, I ain't got all that. I just ain't got it. I ain't got it. Don't be looking for it because I ain't got it. Thank you so much, Melissa. Love this creative family we have here. I'll be putting out something when, oh, awesome. So make sure you guys, if you're not part of the Cozy Fox, any of my moderators, if you guys need your links drop, my moderators is here and ready to work, drop your links, drop their links for me. Just put CC in the in the comments. I'm so sorry you lost your, you lost Granny D. I don't know what happened, but praying for you. Granny D, what happened? I'm, I'm lost, I'm so lost, and I need to find out what happened. Hi, Jessica. She said, hello, Jeanette. Hi, is everyone in chat? How are you today, Jessica? And welcome, so glad you're here. You say, welcome to the dessert squad. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got to get some night box. Night box to be tripping. When my shop were open, I always greeted people, offer tea and mini cakes while shopping and gift wrapping, everything. I mean, you know, we only, you know, I. that's why 
you know, when you go to a small business, it's a level of, of uh, overwhelming gratitude, right? But when you go to these big box office places, they don't always do that. I mean, there's nobody bigger than Walmart, but their workers are so, sometimes so rude. I'd be like, can we get a hello? Can we get a thank you? It won't hurt anything. You know, you might be tired. You might not be tired. But the, the whole point of it is like, why? Why not? Uh, forever me, 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 me. How are you? You say hello to the host and everyone in the live. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. And how are you today? So glad to see you. Glad to see everybody. Okay. Uh, hey, Melanie, modern crochet. She said, good morning, Jeanette. Good morning, all in the chat. Welcome, my dessert squad. Y'all is awesome. Oops, I got the night box warning about them. Girl, don't worry about night box. Night box be on some stuff. Don't, don't. Mm -mm. Thank you so much. So y'all, you know, uh, thank you. Priscilla, you just awesome. Priscilla, girl, you know you super. Uh, the Cozy Fox, if you guys are not part of her family, please make sure you do. Right now, she's going through some experiencing with the, you know, the, the whole thing. So whenever she does come back, there's her link. Join her family and uh, be a part of, I think, uh, was Granny D. Uh, who oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry for that. Can someone please drop Granny Square? Thank you so much for dropping it and putting the CC there so it could be dropped. Yes, even if they didn't make large purchases, they always came back. Yeah, because that's going to determine if they come back or not. Yes, customer service is the worst in some places. Walmart is one of them. <laughs> or probably just my local one. You say, fine, thank you. I am so glad you are doing fine. And I'm so glad you're here with me. I miss the mom and pop shots back in the day. You know, someone that had show more care. You know, when we get, I think what happened when people get to a certain, uh, if someone can please drop anywhere, moderators, when y'all see CC, I ain't gonna keep saying it. If you don't mind dropping the CC links, that'll be so appreciated. I can't work in dark yarn when I crochet. I can only, I can't on my Addy knitting machine, I need a flashlight. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Here we have Woolworth. We used to have a Woolworth. We used to have a store called Woolworth. We don't have that in the States anymore, which is like Mark and Spencer in the UK. Their model is the different staff is so well-trained and polite. They sure are the difference. They staff go the extra man always. I mean, I need it always. Uh, Craft Baddy Rose, you... You do have your you ha you have your ranch back. Your ranch is there. You can drop your own link, Tina. Your link is there, honey. Your uh your ranch is there. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for dropping Granny uh Square. Thank you. This Priscilla is super. She just super. That's all she is. Look how she got Jamie. Girl, she on the ball. Y'all, any links y'all see? Oh, you're so welcome. Please join them. When I can afford to reopen, still welcome custom the same way rent are too high right now. I know. I would love to. I would love to. It's it's a I would love to open me a store. I got enough stuff that I can open up a store right now, right here, right now. But it's like, you know, I can't always wait until someone is in a good mood to uh greet me. Or at least say thank you after I leave. I don't know if people mindset is it's not my stuff. So, but it's your job. It's your job. And I was I used to always think when I people are so rude to me, I always think that you know if I had a, a, a like a store or something like that, a restaurant or anything like that, I would make sure that if you didn't know how to treat customer. You don't, you're not going to go on an interview talking about, I'm a people person, I love everybody, and all that shenanigans. And then when you actually get the job, your real personality comes out. Absolutely not. If you can't do that at all times, don't be pretending. That's not, that's not right. Oh, Ursula, thank you so much. Why don't you go away? Go ahead. Okay, now I'm trying to show Ursula. Okay, hold up, Sandra, I got you. Thank you so much for the super sticker, Ursula, and you OM Granny Square. You're super, you're super, you're super, super, super. Okay, girl, what was that about? I got an extra thing going on. I don't know what's about. Thank you so much. Hey, Sandra, she said, hello, all. How are you today? Coach Spock said, my only channel is the one here. 
with the Fox image. So make sure because you know how people be trying to duplicate your stuff, be trying to, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's something awful going on. So look, look for them. Make sure it has a Fox on it. Thank you, uh, Mimi D, because I needed to know that as well. If Walmart's employees were to go by Sam Walton ideas, they will speak to everyone within 10 feet of passing by them. I know this because I used to work for Sam Club. You know, when uh, when uh, the brothers, you know, which was a small thing, you know, I, I know the background to Walmart's and Sam Club. But like I said, when people are being on an interview, they they represent they represent like they, you know, all this and that. But in the reality, like I said, everybody has days where you just like you're not the best. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that should leak over into customers because customers are innocent. They are just there to help buy something, support the store, get what they need and get on out of there. I mean, some people don't matter. They be like, they don't speak to me. I ain't speaking to them, but that's not how I operate. I, I know I don't operate like that. I like to speak. <laughs> I like to feel like, you know, I earned this dollar and I like to feel, I, listen, you appreciate that dollar. Okay, appreciate it. I have noticed that about Starbucks, the cashiers are usually very chipper and I know they are trained like that, but it makes them inviting and easy to approach. Let me, let me share this with you. I used to work in, customer service and I, um, you know, answering phone. I had never, I worked in customer service, like in a restaurant, but never like at a corporation. And so I was working in customer service and, uh, it was, it was, it was so stressful. It used to have, I used to go home with a headache every single day. Right. That's how stressful it was, but you never knew it. You never knew that I was frustrated. You never knew I was stressed out. You, ne you never heard in my voice because our training taught us to how to talk on the phone. And we had to do training to, you know, so people don't hear it, the frustration, the, the anxiety, whatever it may be. And so one time I had my big manager listening on calls. And this particular day, he was, he was listening to all of my calls. He was so impressed of how I spoke to people on the phone that he made me a trainer. And I didn't understand why he had me training people because I had other people there that was longer, there is more experienced than I was and they're in that department longer than me. But he said he loved how I spoke on the phone. You know what happened? When our positions got outsourced, because they were so impressed how I spoke to people, Believe me, I was able to get to another department. Everybody else was able to not. They had to leave because it's so important how we talk to people. And right now we call this modern time, but I call it frustrating time because I was just trying to call someone the other day and I could not speak to a live person. I was prompting this number. I prompt that number. I prompt, I prompt, I prompt. They told me wrong number, wrong prompt. I said, can I please speak to a representative? Customer service. They would not let me speak to nobody live. If I couldn't resolve what my issue was with the automated machine, it was not going to be a resolution. I was just so annoyed. I've been in and out of retail for years, and it's a second nature for me. Even my alteration customer dropped off. Still, I would chat with them. Yeah, and let them. Yeah. Yeah, you got good customer service. Oh, yeah. We had Woolworth decades ago. We used to call it the five and dad. I remember sitting at the dining counter and having a bag to eat after shopping. Wow. Let them sit and chat. Absolutely. I know what you meant, girl. Uh, let me see. Did y'all already drop? Melissa, crochets with love. If, I'm sure Priscilla, somebody dropped it. Uh, yeah, Tina, I told you I had you. I mean, girl, box with blue scarf with ranch on it. Make sure that's the one because you might see a duplicate out there. If you guys are not part of Craft by the Rose, there's her link. She said, Jeanette, I didn't know if you was okay to drop my own link. So channel don't want to drop your own link. So, oh, that's no problem, Tina. No problem. Our Starbucks has people who speak in different accent to entertain us. <laughs> 
Sam's and Costco's used to have a gentleman's agreement that if one was in a town, on uh, uh, the other would go out there once one or both pass their kids and CEO dropped it. Yeah. You know, the, 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 uh, the children usually, girl, they don't always. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Chick-fil-A is pleasure-based business. Oh, okay. I don't go to Chick-fil-A that, uh, that often. Cynthia, good morning. How are you today? You say so frustrating speaking to everyone live. Even when I had intern working for me every spring, I always answer the phone myself. Yeah, I used to speak. To, I would talk to people and I'd be like, you know, I can't say the company name. And I would, but you know, my eyes be like, oh my goodness, you know. And I, I remember one time I had this customer, y'all. This customer was outrageous. And he had every reason for his actions. He had every reason for his action. He called on the phone. And per, you know, what I supposed to tell him, I did everything I was supposed to do. And he told me, he said, uh, can I speak to the supervisor? And I told the supervisor, I said, we got a customer that needs to speak to you. And she was like, tell him A, B, and C. So I went back to the phone and I told him A, B, and C, right? And then he said, uh, he said, I understand. He said, "Put this, can I please be the supervisor? This went on for like three or four times and he got livid. He said, he told me, he said, are you slow? Are you mental? He, but he said so many things to me. He called me every name with a good name. But you probably think like, oh my goodness, he should not have done that. He should have, you know, that man was upset. He told me kindly, can he speak to the supervisor? He said that about three or four times before he lost his cool. And it took him to lose his cool to get my supervisor on the phone. And guess what? I got the supervisor on the phone and she tells him that uh, he's not supposed to talk to us that way and everything. So y'all, I ran with that conversation. I was like, I don't get paid enough to be called all these things. I had just needed a break anyway. I got to go outside and just collect myself. I am just, I'm just livid. No, I wasn't y'all. I totally understood why that man responded the way he did. So they told me, go outside, get you something to drink, just walk around and just cool off. I was like crying and everything. Y'all, I was, I could have won an Emmy that day. Y'all, if there was any awards going on, I would have won. I was like, I don't get paid enough for this. I just, this is just too much. Girl, I was outside just relaxing. I was like, you should have came to that phone. But here's the kicker. The end result, she did, she gave him what he asked for. She kept telling me, no, 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 no. And when she got on the phone, she told him, okay, We'll do it this time. I mean, you could have told me that. I would have said, okay, sir, we could do it this time, but just future reference, you know, we won't be able to do it. You know, and I'm, I'm taking note of that. She did all that and she gave that man what he wanted. That wasn't right. That wasn't right. Uh, when I worked retail, when I was having a mood, I still gave customer a sunny mood and doing that cheer me up. Uh, funny how that works. Yeah, because, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't pay to be like that. It doesn't. Cyrus, the way I was, I would get Melissa. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I miss Woodward. Yeah, I remember that when we was little kids. Yes, that is the worst when you cannot get a human on the phone. Very frustrated. It was so frustrated. I was like, what the, what the world? I said, customer service representative. They was like, uh, invalid prompt. And they read it all over again. I'm like, oh my goodness, forget about it. I use uh, the prison system. I use in the prison system. I uh, was so confused because I had to talk with administration and I had to talk with supervisors and inmates. It was a challenge. Ooh, that sounds challenging. Girl, oh, no. Ooh, I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Mama G, what's up? How are you? So glad to see you. Thank you guys for the thumbs up and the love. If you guys are not part of Melissa Crochets with uh, love, make sure you click on that link because like I said, they got, you know, a lot of stuff going on. So you don't want to miss out on it. Don't miss out. Why you got to miss out? Don't miss out. Uh, thank you so much, Priscilla. Priscilla's just awesome. She just, girl, she just be. I work grocery retail and you're right. It's not the customer's fault if we are frustrated or stressed. It's a skill to not translate your frustration onto others. 
I try to have a softer tone of voice. Yes, I try to do that as well. Now hear me. I don't have to, you know, sometimes customers can be impossible, you know, because we got this customers always right. And that's absolutely not always true. Not They're not always right. And it's not always true. But it, it really determines how well you're going to take care of that customer. And I, like I said, even though that man was just like irate on the phone with me and saying all he's saying, honey, I was not affected by what that man was saying because the simple fact that the right the matter is he was right. He asked to speak to a supervisor. There's no reason for me to get keep translating what the supervisor was going to say. I was like, it's, that's wrong. I call people and I feel like if the, the, rep, uh, the customer rep can't accommodate me, I said, can you put your manager on the phone so I can maybe get some better results? And they don't put the manager on the phone. I'm like, what, is it a manager around or a supervisor or somebody past your authority that can help me? So I understood. <laughs> I understood. Thank you so much for dropping Consuelo link. You are so super. Chick-fil-A employees will say thank you to them. Their response is, it's my pleasure. How'd that sound? It's my pleasure. Good in yourself. I usually miss your live because I'm usually getting ready for church. But this morning, I'm a little under the weather. So I'm going to watch church on TV. Cynthia, I hope you feel better. Wow. Hope you feel better. Yeah. You say, uh, pees me off when supervisor and senior try and pass. Yeah. They passed that. She was talking about something. Uh, yeah. Tell them this. I'll give you the Oscar. Yes, I won that Oscar, girl. And I had a nice long break. And when they told me I'd come back in, I just said, give me a minute. I need a second. I just need another second. I, I need a moment. They was like, girl, that is not your first and only bad customer. Get back to these phones. <laughs> Uh, when they make you be the bad guy and turn around and give the customer what they want. They made me the bad guy. That man, he gave me an earful. I said, well, I, I just I just came in performance. I was like, okay, this customer no longer wants to hear anything I have to say. They said, go outside, Jeanette. Take you. And it was a beautiful day outside too. So I was glad to get out. Ooh, I'm so glad. You love Woodworth. I was glad. Thank you for dropping uh, Forever Mimi. Thank you so much, Priscilla. Thank you so much for your honesty and love and appreciation. You are so welcome, Tina. Thank you. I took this ground customer as a challenge and usually calm them and end up in positive experience. Yeah, it can. Now, to be honest, will that happen every time? Absolutely not. Because you got some people are just, you know, they just, they just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. And, you know, they just want to let it lash it out on someone. You know, they just want to lash it out. So it doesn't always work, but when it can, try it. 42 thumbs up and 45 in the chat. Y'all get our wonderful host, those other three. Th oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I be needing them, y'all. I need them. Can I speak to a customer service representative? Then a the robot say, I'm sorry. I didn't understand. <laughs> it was, so, I was like. Custom, because you you can say customer service, and they say hold for customer service. You know, let you know how long the wait gonna be. I said customer service, customer rep. You know, I, they told me it, I. Oh, I was just so frustrated. I had to go drink some water. <laughs> Girl, go sit down and calm yourself down. Calm down. What didn't they understand? Like, but what don't you understand that I don't want to talk to you? But here's the, here's the kicker, y'all. There's no, there's no used to getting mad with the uh the automated machine. They it's just a recording. <laughs> it's just a recording. They have no feelings, no emotions. So girl, I ain't got time my pressure up. When well, they don't get that check in the mail, I bet they're gonna call me. <laughs> uh Miss Jeanette, how can we help you? I'm gonna say, sorry, wrong number. <laughs> Jeanette, did you make that hat? You are wearing yes, I did. I sure did. And I made these earrings as well. Y'all, am I showing off these earrings too much? I don't know. They so light and beautiful. I'm just saying. They nice. I'm just saying. Yes, I did. I made this hat uh, and these earrings. Yeah, I just, I made them. I like them. I, you just gotta, you gotta enjoy what you like. Just, I'm just trying to say. Cozy Fox said, I always say all fast food places should have Chick-fil-A training. And you know, the thing about it is they probably do. But that don't mean they're going to apply it. 
they're not going to apply it unless someone watching them. Um, this particular McDonald's that I go to, uh, I go there because it's, it's quicker, it's easier, whatever. And they just never really the most pleasant people. So, okay. And one day somebody came, I came to the window. I said, uh, you know, you already know it's not going to be all no greeting. No, thank you. Can I get whatever I want to get? They told me, they say, welcome to McDonald's. How can I help you? And uh, she was so pleasant, so bubbly. And so I got to the uh, the register. I mean, I can't get to the window. And she say, hi, how are you today? I said, I was in shock. Why you got to be shocked just because somebody treated you nice? I was like, are you new? You must be new here. <laughs> You're welcome, Cynthia. I was like, she must be the new kid on the block. <laughs> Ooh, because when they get through with you, you're going to find out. They ain't all that nice. I don't know. Prayers for Cynthia. Thank you. Uh, Yvette said, hi, Priscilla. Hi, Ify. Good morning. How are you today, Ify? So glad to see you. Y'all, I ain't made that, uh, what you call it yet? Misery Love Company, right? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. If you allow that misery to dictate your day, you know, that person in a bad mood, and you wasn't even in a bad mood, but when you got through with them, now you all in your field. You got to transfer that. You got to transfer that energy right back to them and say, child, listen, I don't know what kind of day you having, but you're not going to put that on me. See you. you put that day on me. Don't do it. Oh, uh, thank you. I can't see thumbs up, but I'm sure glad I got them. Uh, you make me laugh about the that performance. Girl, it's the truth. It's the truth, girl. I could. It took me a minute. I told, I shared that story with everybody in the office. I shared it for people that wasn't in my office. They was in other department. I couldn't share that story enough of what happened to me. And they was like, you know, uh, my uh, head manager, he was like, I really appreciate how you handled it. Uh, I'm glad, you know, you didn't, you know, uh, cause that's, that's, that was going to give an opportunity for that customer to be a repeat customer with us, or we'll never get his business again. And believe me, it would have been shared. So he really liked how I handled that situation. I liked how I handled that situation too. Cause I had got an extra break y'all. I had got an extra break. I'm just saying, I'm just saying they look uh, new Jeanette. Yes. I just made them last night, girl. I was like, you know what? I want to wear some earrings that I made last night. Yeah. Thank you. I said, I want to wear my stuff. I love your hat. Wow. Those earrings are so, thank you so much. I got to make them. They're very light on my head but this is an old hat this is not a well it's not a really an old hat every time i try to pull this side down somehow my glasses fall down but we ain't gonna worry about that it is not about my glasses no it's not okay it's okay anyway uh but thank you so much the only downside to talking to a person on the phone is sometimes i can't hear them or the accent is strong and i am not able to understand them also my hearing is going so it could be hard to talk. Yeah, uh, especially when you get someone with a thick accent. It's got to be the most frustrating thing, conversation you will ever have. You'd be like, I don't even know if they even understanding what my issue is. We just don't know, y'all. We just don't know. Uh, yes, Misery Love Company, and it ain't invited to my party. Okay, you ain't invited to my party. Go on somewhere. Go on somewhere and find you some business. Uh, six in left to so oh awesome lord lord you getting it done ain't you all right girl uh hey vj happy sunday everyone how is everyone everyone is great how are you how are you today yeah you said we missed you last night girl i'm glad you took the earrings off so i could see it very nice enjoy your uh good morning times making you your granddaughter nothing like wearing uh yeah I, that's where i was at with it that's where i was at with it i'm trying to tell you i was at with it and my granddaughter she really loved it and i was just like and i just put a little uh embellishment on it you know just to look a little extra fancy you know don't be too fancy just you know as fancy as i possibly can y'all why i haven't um this scrunchie only takes about five minutes to make why am I making? Why am I taking five hours? I don't know. Why? Do y'all do y'all ask a question and answer it? I learned to answer my own questions, y'all. I listen. Somebody said you can ask the question, but don't answer yourself. I, I'm at a point in my life. I'm asking, 
And I'm answering. I'm just saying. I don't know about y'all. That's where I'm at with it. Uh, hey, Angie. She said, hello, Sister Nat and everyone in the chat. How are you? Yeah, uh, so glad to see you. Yeah, I was once upon a time, I was answering. I was asking a question, but I was like, oh. But I figure if I ask the question, who going to answer it unless I answer it? I, I don't know. I got to ask and answer it. That's where I'm at with it, y'all. I'm asking and answering nowadays. This only takes a good five or 10 minutes to make. Uh, however, I'm taking all of my live time to make it. I don't know why. If you're just tuning in, I'm making a scrunchy. Uh, use of some scrap yarn and it's in black so I don't need to keep putting it all in front of y'all face I don't need to because y'all know what a scrunchie is if you don't know what a scrunchie is watch my tutorial I already got it I got a tutorial for y'all you say ha ha I think out loud all the time I was so doing it at Target uh, the other day, I know other customers were looking at me crazy. I, I am so past the other people looking at me. You looking at me, I believe people look at you because they can relate. They can actually absolutely relate. Like when you first start doing vlogging in stores, you like, I used to look around like, ooh, is anybody looking at me? Can they hear me? I was like, one time I was doing a video in uh, the Dollar Tree, right? And I was like, yeah, guys, if you're not, uh, not part of my DOY Life channel, please make sure you join. I got a giveaway going on soon. Um, and so I was talking about the plates and bowls and stuff like that. And the young lady, she heard me. And so she waited till I got finished. And she came over. She said, are you a YouTuber? I said, yes, I am. And she said, I'm going to join your channel. I like how you was talking. See, you got to talk, y'all. If I didn't talk, then she would have never known. She would have never known. You know, you'd be looking around like, did anybody hear me? Did they hear what I was saying? I'd be trying to say it loud enough so they can hear me, so they can join my channel. Please join in. I don't try to let the workers hear me. I don't want the workers to hear me, but uh, thank you, Priscilla, for dropping DOY Life. If you all are not part of DOY Life, I got a giveaway going on soon. I've been saying soon for a minute, y'all, but soon, Okay. Uh, I will be having a, a giveaway. But one time I was in Walmart and Lily Crochet and more uh, right here, y'all. I'm talking and she said, that voice sounds familiar. And I'm like, yeah, y'all, and this and that. And she was like, Jeanette, DIY Creation. I said, Lily, <laughs> we, we met each other. That's our meetup. We met each other in Walmart. She just overheard my conversation when I was recording. She overheard my conversation. She was like, OMG. She said, you in the same Walmart I am. I was like, girl, small world. Everybody, everybody where everybody at. I don't care who you know, somebody going to find you. Somebody going to find you. Uh, when I hear people thinking out loud, I am like, huh? <laughs> I know I did too. Yeah, I, girl, I am so not, I am so there. Okay, you talking to Lauren. Hey, Katrina for Mindful Crafts and more. She said, good morning, Jeanette, everyone on the chat in the gallery. Happy Sunday. Uh, I hope everyone is having a good start to this weekend. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Dessert squads in the house. I appreciate my, my squad, my dessert squad. Y'all, did anybody hear me? <laughs> you are making me laugh out loud here. Yes, I got I to gotta say it, y'all. I am not. I used to when I first start, like actually going out to vlog and record. And I was looking around like peeping Tom. And girl, I just say, as long as the workers don't hear me, and I'm not even too discerned about the workers hear me, because in Hobby Lobby, I'd be like, y'all, look at this yarn. Uh-uh. Because if I say it too low, ain't nobody going to hear me. They're going to be like, what was she trying to say? I don't know. I clicked on the video and like how you talk. So I keep coming. Oh, thank you, Lauren. I appreciate that. I am so glad you're part of this family. You said, no way. You... Met Lisa. Yes, that is how I met Lisa Lily Crochet and more. She was in the she was in the opposite uh owl, and I was in the yarn owl, and I'm talking, and I'm like, guys, look, this is the new yarn that Walmart has, and I was showing, you know, how our shelves was looking. And all of a sudden she came over to the owl that I was in, but we had our mask on and everything, and I recognized her even with her mask on. She recognized my voice. And she was like, Jeanette, I was like, Lisa, 
Yes, that's how we met. We absolutely met that way. I was so happy. It was it was really pleasant to uh, meet her. Okay, you're talking to Manda. That's too cool. I wish I had seen that. Yeah, we didn't record ourselves um, in the store because you know how sometimes you just be like, oh, I'm just going to run to the store real quick. Um, not really properly, you know, looking at all that, but yeah, we did. I'm doing well. Thank you, VJ. Okay, you're talking to VJ, but we're still glad you're doing well, though, girl. We're glad. And so, yeah, that's how that's how we met. That's how her and I met, I promise you. And it was just so, and from that day forward, we was like, um, we was like, girl, we got to meet up and we got to do that. Small world, you know. I didn't even realize I stayed close to so many people. I was like, okay, we are in the shy town representing and I am meeting people, you know, left to right. That's not that far from me. So I was like, okay, all right. That's, that's pretty awesome. So sometimes, you know, it's not like I'm a big YouTuber or anything like that. But sometimes when I go to the store, I feel like people be recognizing me from YouTube. I be like, because they're like, look at me. And I'll be like, I look right back at them in case anything go down. I need to identify you. Don't look at me and not speak. Because if you look at me and give me like a, I wonder, I'm going to look right back at you so I can identify you. I just don't know. Uh, blanket. Uh, fixed and in sold in. Oh wow, Lauren, you finished it. Lauren, awesome. See, see, you can forget things. I mean, you can get things done when you're on live with me. I'm telling you, you can get things done, y'all. Wow, that's too cool. Yeah, that's exactly how it went down. I'm telling you, it went down just like that. It went down just like that. But yeah, I don't, I don't mind uh, what you said, Jeanette. You're a big deal to me. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. But y'all know how sometimes you be feeling like somebody recognize you. I be like, they look like they, I'm familiar to them, and I just need to know if I am familiar to you. Let's ask a question. Are you subscribed to my channel? Now I ain't so desperate for people to subscribe to my channel that you know I'll talk to anybody. I'm not there. I mean, I, I, I'm. And my and my energy is telling me I need to run for the borders. I'm running. I'm somebody will come up to me like, yeah, I saw you on YouTube. I'll be like, uh, excuse me, sir, I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't care if you join or not. I'm out of here. I always say somebody got to live to tell a story. Somebody got to live to tell a story, y'all. Y'all, I'm almost done. Which y'all, yeah. See there. I don't know if y'all was working on something, but. Why y'all slacking? I'm working. I don't know. You slackers, I'm working. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just having fun. I think it is okay to video as long as you don't show any workers or customers. We have a young lady that was featured in the local news for photograph photographing work using the store as the background. What? I all if you notice any time that I get by a worker or I get by a customer, I put my phone to the floor. I don't, I don't want to be a part of yours and don't make me a part of mine. I, I, I put my phone down. Y'all be like, oh, she had dropped to the floor because I don't think it's right to photograph somebody or record someone uh, without your permission. I was in a restaurant before and the young lady liked it how my hair was and I had it uh, crinkle curls, whatever. And my sister said, you know, she's taking pictures of you. She was just like, click, you know, real slick on it. Just click, click, click. And so I came over to her table. I said, excuse me, are you taking pictures of me? She said, oh, I really love how your hair look. And I was uh, taking pictures of your hair. I said, it would have been really nice of you if you would have just asked me versus just, you know, taking pictures. I mean, that is so creepy. I could have gave you a better view if you would have asked me. Versus just taking a picture. Yes. You said, I am looking at you right now, Jeanette. I am not saying anything. And you don't even know. <laughs> hi, Jenny from Proverbs 31. She said, hi, blessings to you all. Jenny, how are you? I'm so glad to see you. There's Katrina Lee. She's on a dessert squad. Yeah. You said, oh, heck. 
No, that's wrong. She should have asked for. Yeah, she just. I just took a picture of me. Don't be taking no pictures of me. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? She sure did though. She didn't delete it either. She was like, oh, she said, I'm sorry. I said, it just it seems so creepy. It seemed like you could have just came and asked, um, can you take a picture of just my head versus you on the other side of the restaurant taking pictures of me, zooming in on me. Don't be zooming in on me. I don't like that. That was creepy. That was really creepy. I was like, creep people. That's the one thing about sales phone. You will never really know if people are. Uh, you know, recording you or not, you just don't know. You just, you don't know because people like to record everything. Oh my goodness. Uh, thank you, Katrina. Um, what I missed? Did I miss anything? I don't think so. So let's just make sure. I'm almost done with this, y'all. Now, believe me, this only takes about a good five minutes to make. However, you know, I put it down for a second and I don't make mine real big. Like, you know, if I wanted to get it like extra, uh, you know, big, a small one is cool with me. As long as I have the yarn over it, everybody just speaking, uh, as long as I have the yarn over it, I'm okay with that. So let me show y'all what I'm working on. Let me just yarn, yarn, live your best life, yarn. My yarn will be trying to live its best life. Live your best life, yarn. I'm trying to make beautiful things out of you. Oh, and another thing, if you all don't know that I got that 20% off sale on my website, make sure you check out my Etsy shop. I got 20% off. All you got to do is put uh, OCT20 to get 20% off everything online. I know y'all make stuff, but I just feel like I had to throw that out there just in case. I don't know. All right, so it's done. And now this is so black, you're not gonna be able to see it, but it's a black scrunchie. I'll sew in all that later. We'll get that sewed in. But listen, some people make these. Okay, that's okay. You okay? You you feel some people make these and they just take them with them. So when they gotta pull their hair up or something, they have their uh thing right there on there. But yeah, that's it. It's in black, y'all not gonna be able to see it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Hey, Tyrone. Tyrone, say hey, everybody. Tyrone, how are you today? Tyrone is in the house. Okay. Uh, happy foot football day. It's a day for everything, ain't it? I don't know. I have had that done before also. And yes, it is very unnerving and creepy. It's so creepy. I don't know why she could have just asked me. You know, I might have said yes, but just taking it without it. I was like, are you going to remove those pictures? And she said, I deleted it, but I don't know how many pictures that you took. I don't know. You probably got more. I'm talking about you deleting it. I, I'm, I, I'm not going to take your phone and, you know, go through your phone and delete it. So I don't know if it was deleted or not, but that's what time we living in. When you're living in an era where cell phones are just like so popular. Y'all, I am still laughing at myself. Y'all like, girl, don't laugh at yourself. I, I find myself, you know, hilarious. I am still laughing at myself because I could not remember if I had breakfast or not. It was just sad. It's a sad situation. It's a sad situation. I couldn't remember. So now I will be having breakfast afterwards. I really like this. This is so cute. I like these little things. But once upon a time, I was giving them away. I gave it to... My granddaughter, co-workers, anybody who wanted a scrunchie, I was just giving them away. Uh, da, 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 da. I always, I was always a little bit, I had to put my laundry in. Oh, that's okay. You was away. That's okay. Thank you for coming back. That's what's important. Jeanette, is the earrings on sale too? I, I Yes. Yes, they are. They are on sale as well. They are on sale as well. Take 20% off anything online. Everything in my shop is 25, 20% off. All you got to do is put OCT20 in caps, OCT20. But if you do request something like this, like, oh, girl, I like that. Let me know. But I got many styles on there. Thank you, Priscilla, for dropping my Etsy shop. There's my link right there. Thank you so much. You're so awesome. Okay, girl, just be awesome all the time, Priscilla. That's my friend. Jeanette, I finished one cardigan sweater while listening to... Girl, I'm trying to tell you, if you need to be productive, come on my live. You can be productive. That is awesome, Sharon. 
<laughs> you want to be productive? Come on, Jeanette lies. She'll make you productive. Okay. Thank you for the awesome chat, Jeanette. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Priscilla from Distinctive Crochet. If you guys are not part of the Priscilla Distinctive Crochet, make sure you are. Yes, Priscilla is so awesome. And then, you know what, with these names, someone was saying that, Jeanette, sometimes I have to stop and ask myself what, what I'm doing. I know, girl. There's a uh, uh, Kelly Crochet Adventure. If you're not part of our family, I'm trying to, what's the delay? What is the delay? I was, sometimes I have to stop and ask myself, what am I doing? What am I doing with my whole life? Just what am I doing with everything? You know what? Sometimes I'm telling you, it's important. Okay. I am a multitasker, but sometimes I got to sit down and say, what? What was I doing? Oh, shoot. I was making up this bed. Now I'm in the kitchen washing dishes. And then I bring something from the kitchen to throw in my bedroom and then I start making the bed and I was like, what? What was I doing? I was washing those dishes. Girl, get your life together. But all of it to get done. I mean, all of it to get done, but I do go room for room. <laughs> That's why I try to stay in one room and I'd be like, no, because if I go to the other room, then I'm going to start cleaning up there. So I just try to stay in one room, get done with that room and then work yourself to the next one. If not, I'll be just all over the place. That's what, that's okay. If you didn't know how I end up multitasking so much, that's how I be multitasking, y'all. I'll be going too many rooms. Stop. What is that about? Stay in one room. <laughs> all the rooms got to get clean. I'm just trying to say, I don't know. But anyway, y'all, so that's my plan for the day. Uh, I definitely got to, you know, like I said, I got my grandchildren and I got to see what I'm going to do with them. I, I went to, the game room, we went out on Friday. No, we didn't. We went out on Thursday. Uh, I took them out, had a really good time. And so I got to see if I'm going to do anything today, girl, because children cost, you know? These children be costing a lot of money. And my daughter, she be dropping them off like, hey, mom, see you later. I'll be like, girl, can you at least drop me a 20 and 50 something? Just drop me something. She be like, oh, mom, you got it. I ain't got it. <laughs> You said I went to a seafood festival yesterday and a lady was selling crochet washcloth for five dollars for one and four small face scrubbies for five dollars. I thought it was a I thought it was very high. She and a lot of people uh can look that is that's kind of pricey just for one face cloth, but you know what? That's how much she thought she was worth. She thought she was worth. 20% off is a great deal, Jeanette. So is it okay if we are inspired to share? I encourage you to share. Yes, share, share like, tell the world. Yes, please do. Um, You know what? Sometimes when you're dealing with that, Angie, and you see somebody selling their stuff for a certain price, that's how much they feel that it's worth. It kind of make you think like, am I... Am I playing myself shorts? Because sometimes when I'm crocheting something, I'm like, I should have charged more. Hey, Tanya from Tanya's Crochet and Creation. How are you today? Good afternoon. So glad to see you. A lot of times, you know, when I finish the project, my price kind of decreased. But in the process of the, the project, I'd be like, I'm going to charge this much. I'm going to charge this much and everything like that. But to be honest with you, I, I don't think that's bad. Just wanted to stop in and say, hello, I'm at work. Thank you so much for popping in, girl. Thumbs up on your way out. I appreciate that. So sometimes I'll be feeling like, you know, oh, that out of one towel. But maybe she felt like that one towel was worth it. This is handmade, y'all. This is handmade. And we cannot be selling ourselves too, too short. Now, if you just get, I tell people it's a difference from me donating. If I donate it, there's no price. I just want to give it to you. Enjoy it. Uh, my time, my money. It's okay. I, blessings, you know, but when you selling it, sometimes you'd be like, I cannot give this away for $2. No, $2 wasn't even the, the material. $2 wasn't the material. Jeanette, this amazing show. And she, oh, thank you, Melissa. I tried, Melissa. I try to give you all an amazing show. No, I'm just kidding, y'all. Let me share something with you all because people ask me this. They be like, Jeanette, you know, your show seems like, like my shows are very unpredictable. 
I do not schedule anything. I, I never know what I'm going to talk about. I don't know. what I'll, I really feed off you all energy. I say this and I'll say it again. I feed off you, in, you all energy. Now, I'm a talker, but y'all make my job a whole lot easier by talking with me because I don't want to talk about myself. I would, but I want to. I'm just saying, I don't know. Uh, exactly. You have to count the cost of the yarn and the time put into it. I always sell myself. You you do feel like you're selling yourself short. Like I am really underselling this. I don't know. I just got to make it more. I got to make it more. Jeanette, the code is, this is the code. If anybody wants to, anybody want to take advantage of my 20% off sale online, take advantage of it. I promise you, you will find something on there either you like or a family member like, or I don't know, you got to check it out to see. And just put in OCT20 and say 20%. Okay. Uh, yes, that's it. There, there it is right there. I would like to know how many sales she got. <laughs> VJ say, I would like to know how many sales she got. I would too. Some people do cost that much, like a crafted show or a garage sale. I ask my friends how much they think what's, what, say, uh, what they sell if, if for they said in time surprise, what you think. You know what? Sometimes uh, I, I used to do that. Let me tell you something, Lydia. I used to do that as well. I used to ask people, like, how much do you think I should charge for that? And I used to feed off other people. Who wouldn't even ban it from me? I was like, you ain't even ban it from me. I'm just saying. I just I just would not feel good about selling one watch cloth for $5. You know what? I don't know. So there's how you got to put it in there. Just put OCT, uh, tw uh, 20. Uh, and yeah, get 20% off. Those, those shop here. That's where you got to shop at. Okay, thank you, Jeanette. You are so welcome. Would take me too long to make something I didn't feel completely invested in. Crochet is definitely not something I feel comfortable selling, but I may start blogging and doing a uh, complimentary video. Okay, so like I said, when I first started crocheting, I was not crocheting to sell. I, that was not my that was not my point of crocheting. My point of crocheting was my husband was buying crochet for someone else. And I didn't want him to do that. I want him to buy it. You know, I wanted to learn how to make it. And when I was making uh, my daughter, my husband and myself stuff, other people started liking my stuff. And I was like, no, I don't want to sell. I don't want to sell this stuff. You know, my I don't even know how to sew in these loose ends. I, how you going to get this? You probably you probably try to snag something. That whole product probably come down. But then I learned and I learned. I started selling it because they kept asking me. And they kept asking me. And so I was kind of like, you know, kind of moved into that situation. I don't know, but what's for you, even if you try to avoid it, it will still make its way back to you because it's meant for you. Uh, you said, VJ, she said, not many. A lady was looking with me and we walked off. She said, she is crazy. And that lady is also a crochet knitter. Yeah, so being a, being a crocheter and being a knitter, we know that that was pricey. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, because you can do it. But some people, you know, look at people like, I hope you can't do what I do. So you don't know the type of work came into it. But $5 on one clock, I don't know how big it was or I don't know. So I was researching craft fairs prices and selling online. I think that I am selling at a craft fair. I am going to sell it a little cheaper than the online because I am trying to make a lot of money. Of course, of course you want to, uh, you do want to sell it a little bit, you know, I mean, sometimes my prices are based on, I had it for a while. So I'm just trying to get it out of my inventory in a short amount of time. So supposed to online, uh, it takes time to write the post and take the pictures and the cost. Of, it does like people tell you, you know, you put things online. It just don't magically come online. You try to get the best lighting. You try to get you know, it's a lot of ins and out, but if it's worth it, it's so worth it. I want to make a Tunisian crochet wrap on the bias. I was thinking of taking some triangle shapes and joining them to make something more wrap like. Oh, okay. That's the beauty with crochet. Be adventurous. That's the beauty of crafting. 
we can just let our imaginations run a while. We can just do that. And I love it. Just let your imaginations explore. It's okay. It's all right today. Okay. Today is okay. But yeah, guys. So again, if you guys are not part of DOI Life channel, make sure that you join in on that. If you guys are not, if you have not entered the giveaway, I got two patterns, one from Distinctive Crochet and the other one from Creatively Creatively Crochet, uh, the Triple C, the Dana Show. I got her pattern I'm giving up. And I think tomorrow am I pulling the winner? So make sure y'all enter the giveaway if you are into, uh, you know, uh, get, winning some patterns. Make sure you enter that giveaway that I posted last week because I'll be pulling a name, I believe, this week. I believe so. Yeah, I believe I'll be pulling a name tomorrow. So make sure you take advantage of that. Make it your own. Yes. Also, selling at the craft fair is cheaper because your customer gets it right there and have nothing to pay. That's one thing I think about too, Jamie. Uh, I like to sell it a little bit cheaper because I don't have to worry about the shipping costs. I, I, I ain't got to worry about all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, packaging and wrapping and all that material it takes to even get it to, to the person because it's not just shipping costs. It's the, the packaging as well. And we want to make sure people got nice packaging, right? I know I do. I know I do. Anyway, guys, I just want to thank you all. There's the link. If you guys have not entering uh, the giveaway that I got to win, there's the link right here that Priscilla has dropped. I want to thank you all for joining me this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. Make sure that you guys enter those. Thank you so much, Annette. Uh, thanks for a good live, Jeanette. Enjoy your week. Talk to you on Wednesday. If all go I'm Sharon, girl. If all goes well, I don't know. Yasha Allah said, don't go. I got to go. I got to go. I got to. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in to another DOI live. I just appreciate it so much. Make sure you enter into the giveaways. Make sure you part of the second channel. Make sure you take advantage of the sale that I got going on. What else I got, y'all? I ain't got nothing, y'all. I am just, I ain't got nothing else to give. Uh, Melanie say bye, all. Everyone take care. And uh, okay, I'll be on a, uh, Jamie said, okay, it's been a joy. Yes, it's been a joy for you all too. Everyone have a blessed day. I mean, make it the best day you possibly can. Even if that means go get yourself some coffee, go get yourself some tea, go get yourself whatever it takes to make sure you have a great day. Can y'all do that for me? Can you? All right. Go ahead and do that. And I'm going to do the same, y'all. I ate nothing. I got to go eat. Girl, hungry. I'm hungry, y'all. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Take care, everyone. Have a great week. Bye, guys. Take care, Linda. <laughs> Let me go eat something so I can stop. <laughs>